Today, I'm talking about some storage hacks, uh, mostly for clothing. So I know I've had some of you ask me how I store certain things in the kids' bedrooms especially to keep things organized, so I hope this can help some of you. So if you watched my laundry video, you already saw how we do the laundry basket system. Each kid has their own basket for their own dirty clothes and I wash it all together. So those do take up a little bit of space in their room, the laundry baskets, but it's not bad. And then what we use all around our house for dressers, for our school stuff, for everything are these amazing cubes. It's like a big um, cube shelf. There you can see it. And they use that as their dresser. So each child has four, like across the bottom is all Ruth and then Ben and then Mac. And they have a bin for shirts, pants, shoes, and pajamas. And that's right, they just dump all their shoes in there and they sort through it to find their shoes. They are allowed to keep one pair of shoes by the front door in like a little bench that I have out there, but one shoe. Otherwise, if everyone just left all their shoes out there, you could never get in the front door. So they have to bring all but one pair to their room every day. Um, so Ruth's shoes, though, I have hung on the back of the door. I use these things, almost every door in our house has one of these shoe things on it. In the bedrooms, they're used for shoes. I have a couple closets that have these hung over for cleaning supplies go in here. Or one, um, in one of my closets, I have one of these hung up and it has like salad dressings and um, condiments and stuff like that hanging on it that haven't been opened yet. Like the extras get stored in there. And um, so those, they're just hanging shoe racks. They're like, I don't know, eight, nine dollars on Amazon. So we use that a lot for storage. Um, in here we do have one small dresser for the boys, um, socks and then underwear. They each have a drawer for each here. Um, so Mac and Ben each have two drawers. And then Ruth uses one of these boxes for her socks and underwear since she has a drawer freed up since her shoes are on the door. Another thing we do, our house, all the bedrooms in the house have the same closet not big. So even Josh and I share a closet like this size. And what we've done with all of them is we just put on a lower rack and an upper rack. So here Ruth has the top, Mac and Ben share the bottom. And I just hang their clothes up in outfits. You know how some shirts don't go very well with certain pants? I just hang them up in the outfit. So I use all these little like hangers, look like this hang a shirt up with a pair of pants. So if I'm never not here, Josh isn't trying to figure out, you know, oh, you know, which shirt goes with what pants. Because you know, some shirts are too short to wear with certain pants that kind of sit lower and then Ruth's booty is always hanging out. So I kind of pair them up in ways that they work. Um, same with the boys down there. Um, yeah, and then this is stuff that they've grown out of that I need to put into storage. I keep a little bin in here. And then they have a bin for this is like their memory box i don't do scrapbooking or baby books i just keep a little bin these are like the mini ones in each kid's closet with their name in it and when they do something special or have a memory thing to save i just toss it in this bin and um yeah nothing fancy i know a lot of you moms do some really great scrapbooking stuff but i pretty much use these bins and post all the pictures on facebook so they're always stored there for me um and and on the cloud i use a cloud uh, google drive or whatever to store photos on so i don't really print many off and also if you saw my laundry video you saw this but we use um a curtain on their door because they used to have those sliding doors and they were so loud and always slamming them and the baby's room is right over here so they were always waking everybody up so um also in here, I keep some, they have a bunk bed here. Uh, the boys share this, one on the top, one on the bottom. They're always switching. I don't know who's in which bed right now. Um, but under these beds, there's enough space for these. Um, oh, they're kind of stuck, sorry. It's a tight fit, you kind of need two hands. Okay, these under bed storage things. So I save all their, all their bedding in here or clothes that I know they're gonna need soon, but maybe are a little bit too big for them yet. So in here I have some jeans for Mac that I know he's gonna be needing soon, um, and I wanna keep handy, don't wanna store like way tucked away with the other clothes. So um, these, I fit four of these side by side under this bed. So it's a huge um, storage saver, and Ruth has a little toddler bed that I fit one under too, that might have like shoes and stuff that are out of season in there. So those are some of the hacks we use in the bedrooms to um, keep everyone's stuff organized. We don't do toys in the bedroom, 
just uh, just a few things. These guys wake up really early. I don't even know what time they wake up, but they know they're not allowed to come out till they hear um, other people awake in the house, or I'm pretty sure they would be up at like four. Um, there's been times where I'm up getting ready for work at like 5.30 in the morning, and they're already awake, so I have no idea what time they wake up. But because of that, we keep some toys in here, just um, some Duplos that they can get out and play with, and some books, and that's it. Um, they can keep themselves occupied in here and not wake the rest of the house up or the littler kids up with their shenanigans. So not a lot of toys, not a lot of clutter in the bedrooms for them. And it works out really well. There's three, and they're different, you know, boy girls in, in this room, two boys and a girl. And that works for now, but I know someday we're going to have to separate them. But anyway, we make it work. It's a pretty decent sized room, but not huge for three people, and it's not a problem. So those are a few of our... Um, few of our hacks. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.